Uh, Christ, how funny those bastards chased me. They were bridges, weren't they? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Those bobbies seem to have locked me in. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Terribly thoughtful of them. run off. And she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. I'll need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick.
There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. What happened to him? Or rather, who? going to hurt us. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I I promise. But, but, but they hurt the city. I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. Too bad I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet.
to the bridge in the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. Oh, God. I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wonder what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. Benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message. This doesn't give me food poisoning. Nah, just rest in my feet. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. Berries? 
They grow all over the Garden District, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. <laughs> I should make some bandages, just in case. A crib. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. When was the last time there was a baby in Wellington Wells? What's on those beds? God, I'm not the only one remembering the children, am I? Makes sense. They're all off their joy out here. What's on those beds? Oh, God. I'm not the only one remembering the children, am I? The toy tea set. Funny, Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. Toy tea set. Funny, Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. Locked. Aha, but I remember how to make a lock pick. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. When was the last time there was a baby in Wellington Wells? A water pump. Nice. There's a few more in the garden district, aren't there? Well, to fill up a canteen or two, shouldn't I? This ought to be pretty clean, unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. Mother always told me that I had this mental voice. In fact, I think an opera 
Oh, God. That smells awful in there. A lovely rotten potato. I'm not sure I want to eat it. I suppose I could. Might throw up. Well, that's a convenient story, isn't it? The Germans rounded up the kids at gunpoint, did they? So much better than what we actually did, isn't it? Well, that's terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. Oh, that's a bit risky. Look what happened to Goldilocks. Look, I really need this. Thought the Garden District was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. Apparently, it's just got its own rules. I'd better figure out what the other ones are.
it occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Who wouldn't I kill for a sandwich? Hello? Anyone out there? Christ, oh boy. Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here. Over here. Do you want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits? Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. We have our memories, right? Sometimes you just have to. Mum, Dad, I've come home. I lied for you today at 4 15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good lie today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red and. And her voice was like mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you, Arthur. I love you too.
Well, I don't think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. Derived from a mandate from the masses. At least we're alive. Right. Sometimes I hear horsemen of I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. Night. It's welcome to the bloody garden district. <laughs> I don't know how you feel. Sometimes I hear horsemen at night. Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? It's this strange. too shall pass, it's I suppose. It's strange. There's things here you could never find in Hamlin Village. How are you holding up? Sometimes I hear horsemen at night. No, just rest it's in the feet. Before, isn't it? It could be worse, I think. Don't swim in the river. Are you all right? You'd be amazed what people throw into the bins. Been a while, hasn't it? If you get a cut out here, you'd better package it up. Have you been sleeping all right? Don't swim in the river. The fumes will kill you. <laughs> At least you there are flowers out it. here. Go to school together, Miss Bing's class. Watch out for the ones with plague. They look sick, but then they suddenly become wild dogs. Hello. It's hard when you can't trust your own memory, isn't it? Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? You need something to believe in out here. The unbelievers who give up the fastest.
Rose of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. Otherwise, I'll never feel better. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. Or find a cleverer way in. They all said he was dim. He wasn't dim. I can think of no good reason to go into a camp full of heavily armed delinquents. And I hope I never have one either. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house? When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. If you get them back for me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? Me medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk. And the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No. Oh, and you'll need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have install most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a ca- Heaven's alive. It's a- Bloody fortress. Maybe I should sit down for a bit.
Sally would have loved this. If I could never get in here. I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight in the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive? I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I could write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. I will leave you there to starve. for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. Spice it up. 
shall we, eh? How about we let the birds have a chance? If you lost your bet on Defoe, now's your chance to have a double or quits. Oh god. Sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motoline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell. I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. Something 
Hold Me, just having a bit of a sit down. Just, uh Watching the day go by. Please don't make a fuss.